Hey guys, it's JD from the Tabletop Dungeon News, and you're watching Insta Critical. Today we're going to take a look at a book from 4th edition that you can use in any, and I mean any, edition of D&D. What is it? Well, let's take a look at the Forgotten Realms. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so thanks to Zero and Bill for helping make this video. Bill... I actually won this from him in a contest and zero for encouraging me to take notes on it so that way I could have a good review. So here it is, Ed Greenworth presents a Mistress guide to the Forgotten Realms. Here's some artwork, here's the front book, here's the back of the book, it retailed for $39.95 US, $47 in Canada. This book was released back in October of 2012. Has six chapters in it, some great artwork inside with some of Ed Greenwood's personal notes. Like here's his notes right there, some notes right there that he had typed up. Here's some artwork. It's fourth edition artwork, but you know what? It's still great. More artwork. Awesome. You know, more notes. So, just it gives you an in, it gives you an insight of what was going through his head on when he was creating this. This I'm also going to have an affiliate link for the book on Drive Through RPG, where you can pick up either a PDF or soft cover or a both, and maybe through that link I could get more stuff to review. So, let's do it. First uh, chapter is Life in the Realms. I'm sorry, if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at my notes. Because I want this to be good. So, Life in the Realm, it takes a very personal look at the uh, Forgotten Realms, mainly Faerun. Um, it goes over the day-to-day -day things that you wouldn't normally find in Sword Coast Adventure Guide if you have 5e. Uh, you can use this book to enhance your campaign, if your DM. So, and also as the players, it, you could, in, you know, you could give your characters like a, a good backstory and stuff. It ha also has a list of, I don't know, like poisons, medicines, and uh, festivals, entertainment, and how to get around without looking like you're not out of place in uh, Faerun. That's Life in the Realms. Second chapter, Law and Orders. Basically talks about, that's what it is. Law and Orders. You break a law, here's the consequences. You know? What more can I say? It's, on different locations, has different laws. And it goes over that with you. Uh, Hearth and Home. Talks about how the town folks are, uh, you find notes on how they eat, how they drink, how the locations eat and drink throughout the Forgotten Realms. You know, the f money manners. Need a job? Check out that chapter. Just check it out. It's great. It also goes over, like, guilds and everything. And the aspect of working in the uh, Forgotten Realms. Gods and Followers. Talks about the Pantheons of this uh, campaign setting, how to worship them, and where to worship them at. So, that's more than what I can say. <laughs> uh, the, the last chapter, the arts, it refers to how they look at magic, how they see magic, and the different types of magics there are in the realm. Overall, this is a great book to have. Even though it's fourth, even though it's fourth edition, running with any edition, it's uh, it's a great book. I you could not go wrong with it if you wanted to add some flavor to your campaign with the Sword Coast Adventure Guide. It's it's a must-have if you really, really, really want to go into the Forgotten Realms. Uh, I would like to thank again Bill. And from Rose Stats, 
Zero hobbies. Zero, my buddy. Uh, thank you for encouraging me to take notes. And everybody else over there at the Tabletop Engineers. So we go over, we have like 3D printers over there. We have painters. We have DMs. We have all kinds of other hobbies and stuff. Uh, check them out. Link's going to be in the description below. Join us on the Discord. And also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And remember, if you're over 20, it's a critical. Thanks, guys.